Hello, this is Geisel's Guy 65 bringing you the second part of my Blunder FPS tutorial. And today I'll be showing you how to make the gun and how to shoot. Alright, so you start off, delete the cube by pressing delete, and then adding a plane. Rotate that on the x axis 90 degrees by using R, X, and then 90. Zoom in by scrolling in, and then go to tab by clicking here and edit, or pressing tab. You'll be in edit mode. Next step is to divide by either, or subdivide by pressing this, or W, subdivide. I'm going to subdivide twice by using multi and keeping it at 2. Now I've subdivided my frame up a little bit. Now this is going to be a very simple gun. If you want a more detailed one, just ask me or check out my friend Yeoman's 1993. He has some good gun tutorials already out. But for now, I'm just going to drag these out. Got a simple gun. Alright. A little flat. So select it all by pressing A. And then E to extrude it. That'll make it thicker. Add some depth. Alright, you got your basic gun. Now I'm just going to catch this up a little bit from my last tutorial. I bring my camera over there, put it behind it. Alright, then I'm going to parent the camera to the gun again because this is replacing the cube. You want a gun to move around, hopefully not a cube. Next step is to add an empty. And what you're going to do is you move your cursor over here. That's where your objects appear. But we're not going to add a mesh. Go down here, empty, and then go into logic. That's where your bullets going to come out. So go over here, add an actuator, a controller, and a sensor. Change the sensor to mouse because I'm going to base it on my left mouse button. There's other options in here, such as right mouse, scrolling over, using your wheel. But for now, left mouse button, connect all those, and then go over here. Change from motion to edit object, add object. What that's going to do is it's going to add the bullet. So go in the second layer, and then add mesh UV sphere. Give me my bullet, I'm going to size that down to bullet size. I'm going to name it bullet. You'll see why in a second. Let's go back to that first layer. Now, layers, they're different than scenes. Scenes are like a different level, whereas layers are just like a different layer. It's the same scene, but you know, add different objects and then you move them back and forth, kind of like storage. So, for now, go. Back in logic, so it's going to add the object, bullet. Now, you can test that by using your left mouse button, and you got it. But it's not falling, it's not moving, no gravity. And to make it move forward, go over into here. You want it to go forward on the x-axis, so 70. They can go pretty fast, like normal bullet. And give it some, uh, I guess you can call it physics not quite sure. I don't take that class. I'm not that deep into this program. And then leave it on actor. Don't want touch go. So that makes it intangible and then it'll go through objects unless you want it to do that. So just leave that how it is. Go back in here and then put this on local so that wherever it flies out, it'll fly out to this object's axis. It's X, Y, and Z. Say you rotate it now the X is over there, but if it's not on local, it'll always stick to going off this X. And that's not good, so if your gun's turned, it'll be firing this direction instead of that way. So put it on L for local, and then shift right click and parent it to the gun, so it follows the gun just like the camera. And now, add the now base control. I'm just going to add two for time. I'm starting to run short. So keyboard four with my W and then I don't know, left with A. Connect all these together. And then I'm just gonna have it go forward a little bit on the X axis. 
and rotate. Alright, so now when I play, uh, I'm going to test out, go to my camera view, and then grab your camera using G and the Y axis, bring that, no, just your camera. G, Y, bring it over, because your gun's usually on the side in a real game. Anyway, now you test it, hit P to play, so now as I move around, I can shoot. And but as you play, those bullets, as you see, they kept falling. But if you have like a level, those stay wherever they hit. Stop that, because I'll keep adding memory at a time. That's how long they'll last. So I'll um, put 75. That's what I'll have. So that so they'll last like 75 frames or whatever that unit is. So now they disappear. And for now, that's your very basic gun and how to shoot it. Hopefully, the next tutorial I'll be in making a like terrain. And for now, that's it.